God has written his law with the lightning and the thunder, and you will not go outside of the law. Didn't he let him sit inside? There's room here. You'd allow a Negro next to you? Didn't you just have a civil war to give the Negro his rights, just as the whites? You ain't American, huh? No, I came from Europe just a few days ago. Europe is a beautiful place. Do you know it? No.
Lord Granville. There's six men rest for passengers going on. Step down. So long, folks. I chained here. Have a good thing. Up to you, Miss. Don't stray too far. We're leaving soon. Time's up, folks. We're moving on. Man, you've got a lot to do. Get at it. Off to work now. Mr. Novak? Yes. How do you do? James Cooper, director of the mine. Very glad to have you with us. I'm pleased to meet you, Mr. Cooper. I have something for you from the company. It's in the state. Ah, yes. You brought us the cash to pay the miners. Yes. If you'll excuse me a moment, I'll get it. the board. What is it? What have you done? What's happened to it? There is no money. What did you say? You mean the miners' pay is stolen? stolen. Money just doesn't walk off by itself. How did it happen? I don't know. You don't know? Do you have any idea what this means to the men? The company counted on you. You had the responsibility, Novak. Now, how do you expect me to explain to the men that we have no money for them? Well, don't just stand there. Say something. What are you doing? Novak, come back here. Novak.
I am not armed, mister. I see that. Where the hell are you from? Europe. <laughs> well, welcome to the West. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm going to have to take your horse. All right. Where are you going? Silvertown? Does it make any difference? Sure. I'm going to ask if we two could ride together with that horse. <laughs> All right, come on. You like it out here in the West? Sure. You really sure? Uh-huh. And the first thing to do is get rid of this. company can pay. It's only a question of the message getting there. I'll make sure you all get your share. But we insist on you giving us just a few days to get a hold of the money. We can't wait. We need our money every week. And what do we tell our contractors? Do you think we can give them your excuses, huh? He's right, Cooper. We work like dogs down there. Maybe you think we do it for charity because we like to split blood. I say no pay, no work. Yeah, yeah, no pay, no work. But you will get paid. The money's insured. It's only a matter of waiting a few days. Now you get back to work. That's an order. You don't give us orders, Cooper, unless you got the money. Why don't you all take it out on me? All right, someone stole your money, yet Cooper had nothing to do with that. We don't want to hear no more excuses. You don't even know what it is that I want to tell you yet. The least you could do is listen to what I've got to say. The company had ordered me to bring your money. And so, like a fool, I unwittingly let it get stolen from me. But nothing can change that now. You just can't buy bread, you can't change that neither. But can't we at least be reasonable? I ask you to be patient. Yours is a new world for me. One which I shall know soon. We can't wait that long. While you're learning, what do you expect us to do? I ask you to go on working for a few more days. You'll get paid all your old. No! no. We don't want to no. no. We don't know where you came from, but get on kind of way. seen to hurt so many bastards in all my life. All you men got families that came from all over the world, right? The kid just got here. You ran into bad luck and you treat him like a dog. Who the hell do you think you are? You act like you all got hit in the head with a horse. You know something? I think this kid's got more guts than all the rest of you put together. There's a room reserved for you at the hotel in Silvertown. Be at my office tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Right, Mr. Novak? You I thank uh, me and I'm going to tromp on you. I want to thank you. Look at kid. You need a drink, come on. Unfortunately, I think it's useless to even hope to find it. Ah, Cutler, may I introduce these two gentlemen I met in the coach? Uh, how do you do, sir? Good evening. We've had a bad day. He lost his money and I lost my horse. I don't know what's going to happen next. It's like we're going to have to spend another day or two here until we find one. 
How unfortunate for you, sir. Yeah. Will you have a drink? No, thank you, sir. I rarely indulge. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Awful damn polite, eh? Yeah, you're right. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. We're happy to present tonight here in Silvertown, Lola. See if you can do that to me, stranger. And me, if you're sure you ain't afraid to. Like what? Now go. Take a what? A bath, my dear lady. Now you look here. This is a hotel, my dear man. What about my friend? This? He needs more than a bath. All I want is a room. We have no other rooms. But you can sleep with your friend. If he let you. It's all right for me. I'm here.
minutes leave. Huh? What about you? Smoke? Mr. Cudlip. I told you about that. All right. Look, Cudlip, don't think I'm uh, being rude with you, but is it necessary for you to follow me around all the time? I know, I know. You just look like a soft little thing that doesn't need any help in protecting, huh? But the minute my back is turned, you're going to outdo me and ten more like me? Don't try it. Uh, uh, be careful with that. The church organ is broken, so we're sending it to Greenstone. It'll be on the wagon with you, Sheriff, when you pick up the money tomorrow morning. Hope there's no trouble, Cooper. I'll telegraph Greenstone and tell him you're coming for the money. Mr. Cooper, good morning. John Ferguson, our sheriff, Mr. Novak. How do you do? Good day. I suppose you have no news about the thief yet. The person behind this one knew more than he should have about the company. You just have to be aware of the possibility that he could do it again. Whoever did it, you won't find him easy. I hope to God you can make it back here. I don't want you and the sheriff taking any risks, Novak. Thanks for the offer to make the trip, sheriff. Catherine the Great. His father was Taras Bulba. And his grandfather was Genghis Khan. All champions of the Duke of Gloucester's stables. You won't find a horse like this anywhere in the West. How much? What? The horse. You want to buy him? Might. You can just forget about him. Princesses don't marry shepherds. And they all sat down with him. And he took the bread and the fish and he offered it to them. That's right. Thousands gathered. And as the sun began its flaming descent into the horizon, they were hungry. And he saw hunger in the face of a little fisherman, a boy with red hair and freckles on his kisser, like him. <laughs> so he said, pass around the loaves of bread and the fishes. And they sat in a big circle in silence. And suddenly, the sound of beautiful harp music descended upon the multitude. And at the sound of the music, the loaves of bread and the fish multiplied. <laughs> and there was enough for everyone. Especially the children. <laughs> that wagon there is going to Greenstone. <laughs> and our sheriff's going to pick up more money from the miners. <laughs> Cudlip, tomorrow afternoon, on that wagon, there's going to be another bag of gold. So, are we going? No. Why not? Because the sheriff knows how to shoot. So can we. Remember, Death is the freedom of the sinner. And I'm sure the sheriff is a sinner. If I get you right, we ride in and a massacre takes place, huh? In other words, we go from little chicken thieves to murderers and killers and men with a price on our head? Not at all. We gotta get the cash, right? Right. Unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond our control, one or more has gotta catch a bullet, right? Right. We just gotta be careful that we ain't the ones that catch the bullet. That's right. You don't realize $12,000 here. 
12 more and we got 24. Then we go off to another state and amen and hallelujah, brother. The miners, what about them? Let them get paid another time. Just like that? Yeah. <laughs> well, if everything goes all right, this office will be mine one day. It's not much, but uh, I have everything I need here. Ah, what did you want to tell me? I'm going, Ben. I don't like this place. Now, maybe I can find my horse. If not, I'll find a way to get another one. Where are you going? To Greenstone? Take care of yourself, Ben. Wait a minute. I can maybe find a way for you to buy a horse. I am going to Greenstone tomorrow. Come with me. I can use you. What are you going to do in Greenstone? I must go talk with the directors of the company. Things can't go on this way. We need new equipment. And what do you want me for? I might have to bring back some machines here. Anyway, I need someone like you. You know everything here, and I know so... You go your way. I'll go mine. Good luck, Ben. I think a reprehensible of gun to be sold so easily. Just anyone. They're necessary for defense. I got the ammunition. Billfold lifted from the gun dealer. Feels pretty heavy. We still need rifles. I know where we can get some. Tonight. I'll find the horses tomorrow. I saw some good ones in the pasture. No. What are we going to do without horses? No. No to everything. What's this? No. No shooting. No gunplay. What's got into you? I don't know. Maybe it's just a hunch. But I don't like it. You know what's wrong with you, Cad? I think you're scared. I'm no more scared than you are. I just don't want to kill. But we'll all be rich. And then what happens? Man, oh man, this is great. Peace and quiet. Good food and drinks. Women. A fine horse with a shiny saddle. Cut. How can you keep saying no? No. No, damn it, no. Very well, my friend. We know what no means. But this is where we say goodbye. Now you take us to where you hid the money, if you'll be so kind. Mm -hmm. And give us our cut. What'd you say? Take us to where you hid the bag and give us our split. The bag. The bag. I'm a damn bitchin' idiot. The bag. What the hell's come over you? Now look. As long as we've got this, we don't need any guns. Tomorrow we go to Greenstone. by the insurance. Oh, fine.
We Come are in. waiting for you. Come on. Where have you been? Here, let me take that for you. <laughs> He's tired. Let's go! Uh. Why don't you go back there? Get yourself a little rest. That's a good idea. Thanks, Scott. I'll keep watching. What happened to him? Why ain't he coming? A patient man's virtuous brother. He's seldom disappointed. <laughs> if he has a gun. You were right there, brother. Get 
the horses! What? You mean stopping back here? How about heading them off at the Chuco? If they get around that hill, there isn't a prayer we can save our skins. Now let's get out of here. You haven't lost your guts, have you? You won't ask the boss, go ahead. They'll be home before Burton can make a choice. Wait, Miss Captain. It's important. We were bad to this place. Thanks. Maybe you can stick around in case they come back. We still got this. Oh. Sheriff's inside. Oh. But about you, Teddy, yeah, you all right? Didn't nothing right. happen to you, huh? Poor driver was mortally wounded. Our sheriff was hurt. Not too badly. I want you to thank our friends. It was Mr. Cudlip and... Where are those other two? Hey, you! Wait a minute! You can't go away like this! Come here! I want everyone to know what you did for us. These are the men who are responsible for saving our lives and your money. And if you don't feel that you owe Mr. Cudlip your thanks, you obviously won't deserve to get your money. And he was able to save the soprano in the choir for you. <laughs> Thanks very much for everything you did today. <laughs> I'll take that. What have you done? to tell you, excuse me. Here it is, safe and sound. With so many thieves around, I decided to take a precaution. Thanks, Mr. Cudlitz. Thank you, Mr. Cudlitz. Nice job, Cudlitz. Thanks, Cudlitz. Thanks, Cudlitz. So, Cooper, it looks like you can pay your men.
Money. The money! It didn't go very well, Burton. What didn't go very well? You see, a couple others attacked us at the gorge. We had to get out. You mean you were afraid and ran away from two saddle tramps? They were able to shoot very well, Burton. Shoot very well. That's a poor excuse for not bringing back the money. We could have all got killed. Both of you look very much alive. All right, I'll give you one more chance. If you miss, I won't. Now take the men into Silvertown and bring back all the information you can about the silver shipments. Come on, let's go. Once a month, they escort the silver. I think I met you last week in the prairie. You remember me? That wasn't us. We go on the 28th of every month. Well, have a good trip the next time. Thanks. Bye. Cud, we gotta talk to you. you talking about? Will you please tell us what we're doing sticking around this damn town where we've had nothing but bad luck? Nothing's going right for us since we got here. We don't laugh anymore. We've become honest citizens. Huh? It's awful. Our carefree days are gone. Days of happy robberies, running from one town to the next. Escapes, brawls, women. They're gone. Now I get it. You want to get out of here? Oh, no. We want to stay here. Become citizens. Go to church, find a job, run for county judge. And that's our life's dream. You're right, you know, we are growing roots. It's time we're moving on. Tomorrow. Will today be all right? Yeah. Kurt, you want to say goodbye to someone? No, or else we never will get out of here. Come on. That's a silver deposit. It's 
going to be easy for us, you know. Let's go to the mark. Yeah, let's go. What are you doing here? What is it you want? Just passing through, miss. We took the wrong road. We were just leaving now. You better leave. You're not supposed to be here. Don't you see that sign up there? Are you afraid to make with a little conversation? Benham, my friend said we were just leaving, didn't he? Baba! Baba, where are you? Listen, you better learn to keep your pretty mouth closed. Now be quiet. Keep your filthy hands off me! Now you get it. Stop it, boys. We ain't gonna hurt her. Papa, be careful! Leave my daughter alone. <laughs> We're sorry, sir. It was only a mistake. We're going real soon. Papa! Papa! Pigs. Might have killed him. Enough of that. Better forget it. Let's go. You can go if you like. I was just starting to enjoy it a little bit. I think you better listen to your friend. Big game. Just what are you going to do if I don't? You see that we are most scared, senor. Right, friend. We're all impressed. Yes, I see. It's very easy to feel courageous when you are five against one, isn't it? We're offended. We'd never do anything like that. It isn't right, is it? Start off with anyone you like. Diego. I don't want you down here. Go to your room now. I don't want any trouble with burden. Let's go.
Gentlemen, it is my theory that stolen chicken has the best flavor. You're so right, Al. That chicken we had over at Silvertown had no taste. Well, I don't know about that. The one we had out at the mine shack wasn't so bad. That's because the cook added a little spice to it. <laughs> Isn't that true, Kurt? <laughs> be for my dear old dead grandmother. Give us something to eat and stop wasting our time. Breaks my heart to have to say it, but it looks like you're going to retire without dinner tonight. If we divide it, there isn't enough for us all. That's only fair. We was bad boys and we don't deserve any supper. Hold on now. Wait a minute. Hospitality is something that's supposed to be sacred. Shall we serve these fine gentlemen? Of course. <laughs> hey, cut, hand me that stool, will you? <laughs> Just about perfect. At your service. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's eat. Here we are. This way, sir. <laughs> I'm sure glad we ran into these three. Man, I'm hungry. Let's take them with us to cook. <laughs> they're a little stupid, but they're friendly. Sorry, gentlemen, but I'm just a little bit nervous. Now, the preacher's going to make a collection. I've got it. <laughs> you, come here. Remember, it's more blessed to give than to receive, brethren. Thank you. Go on. Get out. Money is the root of all evil. Renounce it, brothers. Where'd you get that? It's mine. Where'd you get that? I found it. There now. Is it serious, Doctor? No. Thank heavens. They didn't really hurt him. We've got to take precautions, especially now that the sheriff is in no condition to take complete charge. I am worried, Novak. Yes, sir. And we shall have to act quickly. We'll show them we mean business. Anybody recognize these two? That's one of them. Yeah. 
Congratulations. Getting very valuable to Silvertown. Turn them over to the sheriff. I coincide with your opinion, preacher. Now you're really in trouble. Attack, attempted rape, robbery, and who knows how many other counts the judge will have. Lock them up. You know the way. <laughs> Mr. Cooper, you know who those men are? Burton's man. I don't like any of them around these parts. What do you think we can do? Well, I sure won't be much good to the townspeople laid up. The one and only solution that we have at this time is to offer up, if only temporarily, my own little star. I think he demonstrated his merit. Now it's his. I agree with you, Sheriff. Gentlemen, the only person who can act as our Sheriff is Cudlip. <coughs> Crazy. It would be crazy if this damned bum became our sheriff. Uh, Cud, I'd be very happy if you accept it. All of the town would be happy, Cudlip. Go on. Take it, Cud. <laughs> Promise me you'll consider it before you decide not to accept it. Why don't you just give up, Ben? You'd like that, wouldn't you? A man like you knows when he should go into action, yet you're already beginning to see those days are past. But that's one thing you won't admit. You go around playing the big man, the lone wolf, when you're nothing but a drifter. But you go on with your pose, because you're so hopelessly resigned. The more I think about it, the less I comprehend you. Yet in some way or other, I'm going to get you to realize that you're a perfect idiot. You've got no place to live, no decent clothes. You don't even know where your next meal is coming from. But you're not worried. You act like an adolescent boy. Go up now. And you tell me you're going to turn down this offer to live right? Take it, blast you! Or does this silence mean that the big man is scared? All right, forget about being our sheriff. We'll find our own. What are you so damn mad about? All right, I accept. But on one condition. Anything you want. I get Julius Caesar. Sheriff. <laughs> May we accompany you, sir? <laughs> Come on. Thank you. silver shipments. And what happens? Some saddle tramps get the drop on you. They saw that you're nothing but a bunch of idiots. Now there won't be any more mistakes. Once and for all, I'll find out how to get that silver. Silver is melted into these bars here in the mine. 
And every evening, the bars are taken to the storehouse in Silvertown. There, they're guarded by federal agents. Normally, the sheriff and his assistant provide an escort to the Silver. Now, you'll have to see to it. It's gonna be your job, Cutlets. Sounds easy enough. Well, up till now, at least, we've had no trouble. We're lucky. But the things that have been going on here lately aren't too reassuring. So I think it's a good idea to take some precautions. I think you're right, now that you're sheriff. Let's just hope everything goes well. If anyone had ever told you your best friend would become a sheriff, would you believe it? I swear, I'd kill anyone who said that about my best friend. That's what's so wonderful about life. A thing like that happens and you suddenly realize that having a sheriff for a friend can be useful. There's an old proverb that says, if your friend chooses a strange career, be content. Because sooner or later it can mean buku silver for you. Oh, Cutlets. <laughs> Are you going to eat with us, Sheriff? Sheriff? <laughs> you don't turn into a sheriff just like that. You're doing all right. You know all the articles of the penal code. By heart. I know him by heart because I made him up. <laughs> Are you going to have something to eat? Well, I've got to go back to town. I can't do what I want to anymore. Then come back as soon as you can, please. I'll make something to eat that's really a speciality. I don't use too much salt, huh? Oh, you're a friend. Sally's, uh, quite a girl, huh? You know something, Cut? I think you better take a bath. Hey, you! Can't you cut that damn music out? Quiet down! Keep it up, Samson. Shake the pillars of this temple of the law. Knock them down, Samson, and die with all the Philistines. Uh, if I could only get out of this place, I'd show you, damn bastards. Three days, Silvertown's having its annual festival. There's going to be one great confusion. Games, contests, there's going to be a dance. People are coming from other towns, all kinds of people. You know what that means? You know what that means as well as I do. A great opportunity for thieves. Sounds great. Yeah, yeah. but this time it's going to be different. This time there ain't going to be no stealing, you understand? You got something against us, Cut? No, well, I haven't got anything against you. I got a damn good reason for the way I'm thinking. Well, now, you like my new suit? Suppose it's all right. Sort of sissy, ain't it? <laughs> Go on back to your bunks. Go on. something else. Next week's the 28th. So what? So the federal agents will be coming here to escort that silver to Greenstone. What the hell's that got to do with us? It's got this to do with us. I don't want them recognizing us for who we are. That means we got to be careful, huh? Hey, how much silver is leaving? Hmm. 
This month, over $100,000 worth. Great. Novak's new methods are finally paying off, huh? By golly, old Novak's pretty good. Omnipotent Lord. 100,000 is a round celestial figure. With 100,000 you can do... Well, there's nothing you can't do. You can do anything, cut him. I know a little house in the Warlings that is as close to heaven as you can get on this earth. You walk in there in that costume, and you get up every gal in the place. I finally broke down and talked about my new suit. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> We gotta take the silver from the mine, so we're coming to get you out. When you do it? When soon? You don't have to worry about it. You'll be there. We're going crazy in here. Make it quick. It's like this, huh? It's nice when you're young. Well, I didn't mean I was so old. Mine I, uh... that. <clears throat> and this. I mean, I... <laughs> At least I don't feel old. I. <clears throat> I think I'm just about the right age. Sugar. Yeah, please. One or two? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Here you are. Thank you. Um, it's very nice. Um, what should I... Thank you. What is it they say that uh, youth is forgetting experience? Hmm? And, and uh, uh, maturity. Now that's for finding your place in life. Isn't that right, Sally? You'll find it, Kurt. And as sheriff, you will have a place here. Silvertown is fast becoming more and more important each day. And you're important to it. Hey, you gonna dance with me? Actually, if you wait for me, we could go together to the celebration tomorrow, Kurt. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? There's a holiday in Silvertown. And there'll be many people there, more than usual. And this will help us in getting the silver. That's if each one of you does his job right. Right here is the main street of Silvertown. And here is the saloon. At the top of this street, you'll find the silver warehouse. Silver makes man proud and riches leads the soul astray. 
the Bible? That's right, the Bible. But we're running the risk of not being led astray by the silver or riches. Oh, that's a bad risk. You said it exactly. extra sparkle in your eyes today, Sally. There should be. Everything around here has changed. And two very nice new citizens have moved into Silvertown. Yeah, Novak proved to be quite a man. You and Novak are nice. Sally, I want you. I've wanted you right from the first moment I saw you with that salty stew. But I can't have you. There's some things that even soapy water can't wash away. Go into the church now. They want you in there, too. See you later, Sally. We can still be friends. Good friends. Thanks, God.
Pardon me, brother. May I have this dance first? Everyone's celebrating down at Silvertown. Here. I am. What do you got in mind? I'm Burton. My gang just captured your women and children in the town church. Now listen carefully. For their lives, I want all of the silver out of that warehouse, delivered immediately in front of the church. And if not, Every five minutes, I'll kill a woman or a child, and they'll be delivered to you. Now I want that silver brought immediately. Get that silver into a wagon. Just a moment now, men. I'll give you any orders about what to do with the silver. Good. The silver is not leaving the warehouse. You don't send that silver right now, I'm throwing away this star. Nothing is going to happen. And Burton is not going to do anything. You know very well that that would provoke action by federal troops. Unless you want the massacre of those women and kids on your hands, you'll tell those guards to get out of the way. Now stop wasting time. Cooper. Mr. Cooper, Mr. Cooper, my daughters in the church, the wives and daughters of all these men. You can't take such risks. You can't on possibilities. Please, Mr. Cooper, you can't.
Get that silver in a wagon. Continue these awful murders. Don't. Empty-handed, Sheriff. I'm not playing games. Where's the silver? The silver's coming. A couple of cases at a time. And you'll release a couple of hostages at a time. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Why should I? This way you'll get your silver. You won't have to kill any more helpless women. Or maybe kids. First, I want those men taken out of the jail. All right. You let Sally Davis go first. All right. Hurry with that scissor. Quickly. Everything's going to be all right. For every wagon load of silver, we're going to release a hostage each time. Sally's going to be released next. Babe, be sure and stall them as long as you can, because we need the time. Yeah, I'll do it. What is it you have in mind, Gert? What do you think? There is a possible way to get back the silver. You're right. they got to take the quickest route to the border. There's a good place to await them. You're right again. All right, who's going with us? Of course. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I thought you would. Go check the silver. Sally! Papa! Papa! It's all right. Calm down. It's all right. It's all over. What about Captain Alfred? Where are they? They're going to try to get the silver back. Oh, I guess. But why in heaven? They're risking their lives. Ben? 
something I want to tell you. How far away are they? About 200 yards. Knock that cutter off the sack so we can get to the sheriff. Now go! Inside this wagon, you give it a push, and I'll be able to get around behind you. All right. Wait a minute. I got an idea.
The other side. Get him. Well, Cut, are you sure you want to go for a ride? more dynamite. Cudlip's in an impossible situation. I think there's a possibility if I go around. You cover me. We'll try it.
let the dead bury the dead. Amen. All right. I'll go get the silver wagon. You know, I reap where I haven't sown, and I gather where I haven't dispersed. The gospel according to St. Luke. You know, for days I almost broke my head trying to figure out how we could get a hold of that silver. And now it's dropped right into our laps, ready to move. All we gotta do is jump on our horses and move. Friends, the promised land is here. <laughs> You want to tell him? Yeah, I'll tell him. Ben? Hey! Yes, Cud? Stay where you are, Ben. What's the matter? My boy, we three are going to take off with that silver right now. What? It's a big world, son, and with all that money, we ain't gonna have any trouble finding a place to spend it. It's true, Cud? Yeah. Very well. If you've decided, you're welcome. But, you gotta kill me first. If I were you, son, I'd stay right where you are. I told you, you will have to kill me first. That's no problem. Hold it. Leave Novak alone. What is that supposed to mean, Cud? It means leave Novak alone. Otherwise? Otherwise. Joe, Billy, Codlip, my old time pal, you are not serious. Don't you think you've done enough preaching? Joe, Billy, Codlip, come and thief. You know, you know he's a thief, don't you? You know, it was him, along with the two of us, that stole that damn money back from you. You know that, don't you? Yes. I know. Let's make up our minds right now. Are you my pal? Or are you Mr. Sheriff of Silvertown? I'm still your pal. But I'd rather be one of these dead bodies than have to do what you're forcing me to. You can't. No, good.
All right. Now I've got to kill you. You're not alone, Cud. You have us. You always did. You are our friend. And our sheriff. 